Hey everybody, Miss DVD here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D card that has an Easter basket in it. Now, when you want to go on my Google Classroom, you will find where this is. There will be this set of instructions in there. There will be the background where you have the eggs and you've got this big square. You're going to have to color them and cut this out. There will be a basket here with a little chick. You're going to have to color those and cut them out. Okay. Here I have a basket already colored. And I have the eggs all colored really fancy. And then I have the background colored in. And if you notice, there's some spots. There's one here, and there's two here, and one over here that it says blue here. I did not color those areas. I left the blue the color off of them. And then I colored this. And I got it cut out. And of course, I did not color over top where it says glue here. I don't want the crayon or color pencil or marker to interfere with my glue. I have my little chick here. It's all colored. You're going to have to take your chick. There's some dotted lines for folding. You take your chick and you fold them in half. There's folded in half. Open it up. And then there's two spots down here. You gotta fold it up. And the other little area, fold it up. Okay? There's three little folds for the chip. On this one here, you gotta fold it in half. Okay. Right where the dotted line is. Now here's your basket. Okay? Now down here, there is a solid line right here. And I had to cut that solid line. There's also a folded area here. I fold this first in half. Okay. And then there's a little spot down here that's a triangle. I'm going to fold back. See here? Oh, that's open, isn't it? And Right here, for the little ribbons, I fold them. I fold those forward. Okay, this is back, this is back, and these two are folded forward. There we go. This is where it will pop out. Okay. Now, I like to use Elmer's glue instead of stick glue. It seems to hold better, even though you gotta wait a little bit for it to dry good. So I have my piece of paper here. And I got it folded, so I'm gonna open it up. And lay it down. The first thing I'm gonna have to glue is this piece here. So I'll just turn it over, open my glue, and do my bunny hops. Little bunny hops. Jump, 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 jump. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, I think some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, there we go. Little bunny hops around the outside edge. This is all the glue I need. I don't need much glue. I might do a little bunny hop right here by the fold, and then I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to pick this up. And turn it around here. And I'm going to line up that fold right with the fold and smooth it out. And here I go. So when I fold this, this is centered on that fold. See there? Okay. Now, in the next place, I got to put my little chick here. My little chick's going to be fold, going to be glued right here. Those two little bottom folds. So I'm going to put glue here. I'm going to spread that little glue out a little bit where it says glue here. And here's my little chick. 
And those little two folded areas, I'm going to put them right on where it says to be here. And he's popping up. You see that? He is popping up. Okay. The next parts I got to glue is right here and right here where the ribbons on the basket will be glued. So I put some glue here. I'm going to spread it out in that area. Do the same thing here. Take the glue and spread it out in that area, that gray area. Take my basket and line it up here. And then I'm going to line it up here. Okay. And you can see that my basket is popping up too. Okay. Get it lined up good. chick pops out with my little eggs. And you can see that. Now, the things I need to do next is write Happy Easter on the front of the card. Now, today I think I'm going to get a little purple. Because I got pink there. And I'm going to write Happy Easter on the front. back up and you can see where it's popping up really nice. Now I'm going to give this card to somebody. I think I'm going to send this card to my niece. So I'm going to write two and her name's Sandy. So I wrote two Sandy. This is where you're going to put two and then who you're going to give it to. It could be mom or dad, a sister, a brother, an aunt or uncle, grandma or grandpa, or just to your family. And down at the bottom, I worked right the word from. And then I put my name. You'll write two and whoever you're giving it from. And at the bottom, you're going to add your name. And I wrote from Donna because that's my first name. Now, my card is all done. Isn't that nice? So, let's have some fun making our 3D card. Okay? Bye bye. Let's get creative.